Welcome back everyone. I'm Josh with US Cutter and today we're just going to finish up pressing our prints that we made uh, with our HP M452DW and that we also added our ghost white toner with. Um, as you know, white toner printers are usually pretty expensive, but the system that we're showing you here is only a fraction of the cost of a regular white toner printer. Um, so far, what we've done We have two prints here. Uh, we've got a print here that I used the ghost white toner on. Uh, you'll see that it's got the white layer on the back of it. And then here on this print, I have a print without the ghost white toner on that. And we're just going to show you what the prints are going to look like pressed to a dark t-shirt uh, with the toner and without it. <clears throat> so. As you know, we have our press here, one with the white toner and one without the, to the white toner on it. So the first thing we're going to need to do is make sure that we have adhesive on both of these. Since we are using the Forever Dark No Cut Laser Transfer paper, I've got my heat press set to about 315 degrees. If needed, you can take it down to 305, but I prefer 315 personally for marrying the A to the B sheet. And I'm going to press it together for 90 seconds. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to lay down our parchment paper. Parchment paper comes with each pack of Forever uh, Dark or Forever Flex Soft that you get, so it will be included with each one. So no worries on that. Uh, I don't recommend using Teflon. Teflon takes away a bit of the heat that's needed to actually make the adhesive adhere to the toner, so you kind of want to stay away from that. So I just want to show you. You may know this or may not. With the Forever paper, the side that we print on is going to be the side that has this little film on it. So see how I can kind of scratch it off? That film allows the laser toner to, to attach to the A sheet. Now here on the B sheet where we have all of our uh, adhesive, you notice that we have two sides. The back side has this yellow writing on it. The back side has this yellow writing on it. And the white side has nothing on it. The white side's the adhesive side that we're going to want to put towards, or that you're going to want to put down with the toner. So again, adhesive to toner. Now, it's very important that you leave the adhesive side up and the toner side down because when you're peeling it, you want to leave that A sheet with the toner on it nice and flat so that it doesn't rip up or come off on the, I'm sorry. You want to keep it nice and flat so that it doesn't rip the toner off onto the adhesive. So that's why you want to keep that A sheet flat. So now I've got everything set up. I'm making a sandwich out of my parchment papers. And I've loved this dual platen heat press that we have here. It is great for this. You know, usually you want to keep even pressure with, you know, uh, a swing arm press with these, but this does a great job keeping even pressure. And plus it's auto open. So now I can just walk away and leave. It's very important that as soon as the press opens up that we separate the A and the B sheet as quickly as possible. Ooh. All right, so I've got it. I'm going to hold my A sheet down flat, pull off the B sheet, and I'm not pulling it hard. I'm just kind of rolling it. You want to keep an evenly, uh, you want to keep a nice steady tug while you're separating it because if you start to yank it at the end, It'll rip off some of the bottom parts. As you can see, I didn't have any issue at all here. Now, you notice that I've got a little bit of the adhesive that oozed out around the corners, so we're going to make sure we get a pair of scissors and, and cut that out. Now we're going to get our second press ready. This one is going to be without the white toner on it. So again, A sheet with the film on it. Going down first where the toner is facing up, B sheet, the side with the adhesive that has nothing written on it, it's going to go face down on the toner. Again, I have a sheet of parchment paper beneath it and a sheet of parchment paper above it. Again, this parchment paper comes with each pack of the Forever Dark papers. Three hundred and fifteen degrees for ninety. It's about to pop up. Whoa. 
So, again, make sure that we keep the A sheet nice and flat at the bottom. Put a little finger down, hold it, and then just slowly roll this up. Now, now, as you can clearly see, there's a huge difference between these two prints. Uh, the reason that you're seeing such a difference is this doesn't have that white layer beneath it. So it can't pick up all the spots where the, there's barely any toner. Because we don't have that white underfilling that's adding the color like we do here in this top one, you're not going to get the adhesive to cover it just like you should. Now, knowing that, I can already tell you this print isn't going to come out well, but we're going to go ahead with it anyway just so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So these prints are lined up pretty well, so I can just put them together while I cut the edges off. And we should be just fine. I don't have it too close to the edges, so no issue there. And again, I'm just trimming the edges just so I can get rid of any excess adhesive that came around on the corners here. I may mean, know you might be like, Josh, this is kind of sloppy, but it worked out fine because I don't have adhesive near the edges. So, first thing we're going to do for this example, we're going to be putting everything on a black t-shirt. So, again, I'm going to use this wonderful heat press, not worry about burning my hands or anything, and just slide it on out. All right. As always, you just want to pre-press your shirt. Now, I know not everybody wants to press shirts at 315 degrees. Again, you don't have to. I only use this temperature just before marrying the A sheet to the B sheet. Since I'm using a cotton shirt and I'm not going to be pressing it long enough to burn it, it'll be just fine. Now that I've pre-pressed my shirt, we're going to start with the print with no white toner. I know a lot of you are already saying, why are you doing that if you know it's going to do bad? I just want to give you an example so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So again, you know, I'm going to press it at 315 degrees for 30 seconds. You don't have to press it at that temperature for cotton. You can go down to 305. Uh, I've even done it down to 300 degrees and had no issue. Um, <clears throat> I've even seen people do it at 275. But uh, for this demonstration, we're going to keep it at 315 degrees for 30 seconds. So if you're wondering about what type of pressure I'm using, about 60, 60 PSI, or you know, you can't really tell what that is with these when you turn the knob. But there's a good test. You can put dollar bills around the edge if you have lots of money. Uh, you can put a dollar bill around the edge, and if it, when you shut it and it makes the dollar bill curl up, then you have enough pressure for marrying the A to the B. So now, got it pressed. It's not going to be a hot peel like it was when we were separating the A to B. So we're just going to leave this over here and let it cool down. I say that, but I'm going to slide it over and let it sit underneath here while I set up the other shirt. But it'll be cool, I promise. It's the same shirt, 100% cotton, black. And do a quick pre-press for five seconds. Not even five seconds. All right. And now we have our press with the white toner and everything on it. I'm sorry. But now we have our print that has the white toner with it. Again, 315 degrees for 30 seconds, just like the last press. Come right up. I will take this off to let it cool down. That way I don't have two going underneath the heat press. I'm going to show you a nice trick that uh, one of the forever reps showed me. He called it German engineering. Right there on top, use it to cool down. 
and that way you can speed the process up. Now, you only want to peel away when it's cool to the touch. If it's a little bit warm or anything like that, that could mess up your peel really bad. Now you'll see I've got both shirts down here, cool to the touch, cool to the touch. So when we're peeling it, you don't want to pull straight up. What you want to do, you just kind of want to roll it backwards. That way it just comes right off. But you're like, Josh, that looks horrible. Why didn't that come out right? It's because we didn't use white toner with it. We didn't have that underlaying option. We didn't have all the underlaying toner. So the adhesive couldn't stick to it. So now we have this, I don't know, it's not even a Galactic Kitties heating pizza in space anymore. So we'll just put that over here for now. So now we've got the image with the white toner on it. Same thing with the forever paper. You just want to hold it tight and then roll it back. So much better. You can see the kitties and, and all of space behind them very clearly now. Now, you'll notice that it's a little bit glossy. So what we're going to do is just one final press for just a few seconds to make sure that our image is nice and imprinted into the fabric. You can go anywhere from 5 to 15 seconds. I'll go for 8 seconds. And once you're done, peel it off. And then we've got a shirt created with our HP printer and ghost white toner that doesn't cost us four grand to make.